Hey, this is Jada again, and I wanted to do a quick video on finger rolls. Not like basketball, but basically using a grace note to take um, something that is even the most basic of songs and basically giving it a different uh, expression than just hitting a block chord. Uh, we, we're talking about arpe arpeggios and also, like I said, finger rolls. So I'm going to play a little something here and try to... Um, also uh, show you what the notes are. I just kind of made this up a little earlier, just as an example, something on the top of my head. Uh, I'm gonna play it straight first. Okay, so that's basically that whole little movement. I uh, kind of changed the chord in there, I think, but I, I like it better this way. Let me see. So I'm going to play it this time. And, and as you heard, um, it was just straight. I mean, it was, it was cool, but there was very little expression in the, in the movement itself. So I'm going to, instead of just going straight to the chord, I'm going to put a little movement in it, whether it is um, playing each note back to, instead of just hitting them all at the same time, playing each note back to back in an arpeggio really fast, or um, using a finger roll. So I'm going to be doing both of those. And I kind of did some arpeggios in the first one as well, but here we go. Let's see how this works out this way. Um, let me play it first and then I'll go back through it. So what happened here, again, um, just a little something that I tried to do the same way both times. And basically, I'm in the key of G flat or F sharp. And what I did was um, I took, if you can see my hands, let me number my hands real quick. Uh, the, my thumbs are always, thumbs are always one, index are two and uh, middle fingers are three, uh, ring fingers four, and pinkies are five. So when I'm playing the chord, this chord in my right hand, and the, note, and the fingers I'm using are one, two, and five for that. Now, what I did, this roll, I, it, it involves strengthening. It's okay if you can't do it because it's, uh, this is where the strength comes from, taking it really slow. But basically, instead of just hitting the chord all like this, I'm um, starting with my third finger on the A flat, fourth finger on the A, fifth finger on the B flat. And when I get to this B flat, that's where I hit the whole chord. So it, it requires a little bit of um, coordination, but what's, what's happening is this. That's kind of what's happening. And you want to hit everything when you get to that B flat. So I already have my fingers in position over the chord and I'm rolling really quick from that. That's what's happening, but then I'm hitting the whole chord. And like I said, to train your hands to do that, you might want to hit that several times right there. Change the key with it. Same fingering. One, two, five. And use that three to roll. You know, that I'm playing this G flat chord is better in being from position. I'm kind of, this is first inversion, this is second inversion. I've taken it and put it in second inversion so that the root of the chord is in the middle. I took the top um, of, well, basically I took the uh, top and took it from the top and put it on the bottom. So that's uh, second inversion. 
and I'm rolling to it, and then the next one I arpeggiated instead of. here this one so that was five four five four chord one two one three again training that hand to do that um is is where all the the meat comes from so if you've got to sit still with it um that's okay Major 13, and then I hit the uh, D, and then the C, and then I went to uh, the 2, and then the 3, rolled again on that B flat, uh, to the 5, uh, and then I kind of... to um, add you can try that in any key every key whatever it's going to stretch your fingers it's going to uh, strengthen your fingers particularly uh, doing all those uh, rolls with the three four five especially if you've never done it before try it try rolling some things in your left hand uh, to different notes to see if that um, if you like that color that creativity that expression um experiment with a little bit but basically um you know use it to express yourself in music in different places increase your musicality with it so just something simple to add to you playing different songs take care have a great night happy practicing